This is the Peak District. It's one of the UK's most visited national parks. It may look like a wild natural place where we can enjoy nature, but there's a big problem here. Like so many of our upland areas, this landscape has been managed so intensively, especially for grouse shooting. I'm Martin Harper, I'm Conservation Director at the RSPB, and we believe the UK's uplands need urgent reform. More than like this should support a variety of life, trees, peatland plants, birds and mammals. Instead, they've been converted into heather monocultures to support unnaturally high numbers of red grouse to be shot. You may have seen burning taking place on grouse moors. Gamekeepers burn the heather to benefit the grouse, but this damages important peat bog habitats. Moorland burning not only releases large amounts of carbon dioxide into the air, fueling climate breakdown, but it also dries out the peat, making these habitats less resilient to fire. And this is also why less than 10% of England's peatland protected areas are in favourable condition. And of course, birds of prey are being illegally and routinely killed on driven grouse moors, as conclusively proven by government's own research. This has been going on for years and is putting undue pressure on some of our rarest breeding raptors, including hen harrier and peregrine falcon. And in Scotland, mountain hares are in severe decline due to unregulated culling on grouse moors. So what needs to happen? We know that to reverse the declines of wildlife across the country, we need action to restore our uplands and bring them back to life. But this won't happen without urgent changes to the way we manage the land for commercial activities from farming to forestry and grouse shooting. And first, burning on peat bogs must stop. The RSPB has been calling for licensing of grouse moors for a number of years, and others have called for a ban. Clearly, the status quo is not an option, which is why today we're calling for an independent review of driven grouse moors, as is taking place in Scotland. Self-regulation has failed our birds and our wildlife. Enough is enough. National parks should be the lungs of the UK, but they're struggling to breathe. Our uplands should be places for wildlife to flourish and be enjoyed by all, but they're at risk of becoming ecological deserts. For the sake of our wildlife and our future generations, grouse shooting needs to change.